Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So we are just about to start our next panel test series. So this time I'm testing out five different touchless sealants. So the old spray on and pressure wash off type products. And yeah, as you can see, I've got the test panel set up with the five sections. We have taped off uh, with some drop sheet down the bottom here and also up the top. And I actually did it a smarter way this time and actually cut five different sheets so I can cover each one rather than one whole one that I'm keep pulling off, sealing, taping back down. So yeah, but different sections ready to go. So the panel has been polished and prep sprayed and is all ready to go. Um, and as for the five products, these are what we are testing out. So we have starting off in the order they're going to be applied, CarPro's Hydro 2. So this has been diluted, it's a dilutable product. Um, one to six in the bottle there. There's a little bit left, not a whole lot, but enough to do this test. Next up we have Bowden's own Green Dreams. Now I did originally film this video, so apologies if you're waiting on this upload, um, but I did originally film it with this Bowden's own Wet Dreams and did a post up in one of the Facebook groups saying so. Um, and unfortunately that video, there was no audio. The audio cut out halfway through and there was no real saving it. So I've had to strip repolish and now I'm reapplying all the products. Um, but in that time, Bounds reached out to me and said, hey, we actually have a new product, um, a new formula for our wet dreams. It's currently in our green dreams promo bottle, but moving forward, all the new bottles of this are going to be using the newer revised formula in this. So I thought to keep it fair, um, I'll use this product, which is going to be what is going to be on the shelves soon. Um, and just wasn't gonna say no to getting sent a bottle of this stuff, so. Um, also then we have the Merch Hydra. Next up is Platinum Potions Body Coat. So really thinking this stuff's gonna do really well, to be honest, with the 10% SiO2 content in it. And lastly, we have Geon's Wet Coat. So yeah, those are the five products. So I've got the pressure washer in here. It's gonna be pretty loud echoing around, but I was going to originally use the, just the normal garden hose, but I thought, no, that some of these products do specifically say pressure wash off. So that's what we're going to do. So yeah, with that said, um, I have already prep sprayed this. It's ready to go. So I might put five, uh, four of the sections, tape the drop sheets down, and we'll start off on one corner and work our way along and apply these products and see how they do. We've got all the sections masked off except for this end one, which is going to be Geon Wet Coat. So I did just wet the section, but I'll just go again. Turn the pressure washer on. And let's go ahead and spray. So we're gonna go pretty thorough with all these products because we're not going to be wiping them in. We're just gonna be spraying on, washing off, and doing two coats. So hopefully this isn't too loud, but let's wash this off. And a second coat. And rinse that as well. There we go. So as you can see, that is now beating up and is now protected. And as I apply each product, I will mention the price. So I forgot to do that at the start. So the Geon for a 500 ml bottle we have here is gonna set you back $26. And that's how easy it is to use and get some quick protection on your car. So let's put the camera back down, cover this section up, remove the plastic over this one and keep it moving. Okay, so next up is the Platinum Potions body coat. This one is going to set you back $40 for 500 mils and contains 10% SiO2. So it's gonna quickly rinse this section first. We're going to spray. And then immediately rinse off. Okay, so we're 
so we got a little bit of a lift in there. May have got a little bit of cross contamination there onto the next section, but I did try and spray it the opposite way. So before I do the second coat, I'm just going to re-tape down the next section, just because we may have got a little bit go through there, because yeah, you can see that tape's moving. So yeah, I'll fix that and we'll do another coat of this. Okay, so I've retaped that section, but unfortunately it's just the best we can do with tape getting wet and then retaped down. So I will try and angle the trigger over this way, but yep, let's rinse this second layer off. So, yep, that's two layers for the platinum potions. Let's move over to the next product. Okay guys, next up is the Bowden's own Green Dreams or Wet Dreams. This is $37 for 770 mil. So what I'm going to do to fix the issue of the tape lifting because it's getting wet is I'm just going to leave the pressure washer off. I think the pressure washer off is still going to be enough using the actual gun but with the, the machine turned off. It's still going to be enough pressure to rinse these off. So let's go ahead, get our first layer of the Bowdens. So a good amount. And then immediately rinse off. And after I've done the two coats and rinsed most of the product off, that's when I'll turn the pressure washer on to give it a stronger rinse. So coat number two. Now I'll just turn the pressure washer on and give it a last rinse. Okay, next up we have the Merch, which is $26 or $23. I'll put it up on the screen for 500 mils. So, a bit of an odd spray paint on this one, kind of goes everywhere. There we go, there's one layer, and rinse that off. Wow, it's got some very nice beating straight away. And we go, coat number two. Rinse off. Try and get a lot of this excess off other areas. There we go, that is the merch. Get the pressure washer on. Okay guys, last product is the CarPro. So yeah, very little left in this bottle, but definitely enough for this section here before I order some more. So there we go, let that dwell for a sec and rinse off. This is one that I've been using for many years. Always use this to top up my ceramic coated cars, so pretty in interested to see how it does against some of the competition that I've picked up recently but don't have as much experience with. Haven't really ever used this one as base protection too much though, it's usually just a topper. Whereas this time we are using all of these as our base protection. There we go, I figured I'd just use the last of that little bit in there. And let's rinse that. So yeah, I mean, first impressions, 
This one isn't the most hydrophobic of the lot so far. But let's get the last of this residue off. You know what I might do? So I'm going to pull all these covered sections off now and then we're going to rinse the whole lot with the pressure washer. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all the tape pulled off now. So let's go ahead and just do a proper rinse now of all the sections. And just to get rid of the noise, now that we've given that a pressure rinse, I'm going to go back to the garden hose and we're just going to go over each section and see sort of how hydrophobic they are in the initial application. So, so that now, and actually, yeah, I'll leave the tape for now, the ones that are left to separate the sections, but yeah, let's get into that now. Okay, so we're back to the regular garden hose. Let's just rinse each section and just see how they look. It's the car pro. Not that impressive. Don't know if it's because the bottle's a little bit older or it's just that I usually use it on a ceramic coating, um, not as base protection. It still looks really good, it's still beating up. But yeah, I could see compared to some of the other ones, it's not gonna be as hydrophobic from the start. So now we have the merch. You can see that merch is extremely hydrophobic. Very, Nice beading. Um, next up we have the Bowden's Own. Bowden's Own kind of in the middle there for the moment. Very impressive beading. Um, next up is the Platinum Potion. So yeah, Platinum Potion's also very nice beading, very hydrophobic. And lastly, we have the Geon. All right, so I'm gonna say initial impressions. It looks like the Car Pro and the Geon aren't as hydrophobic. Um, I'd say the two most hydrophobic are, yeah, the Merch and the Platinum Potions with the Bowdens in a, just behind them. But these all do need to sort of cure for 24 hours. So maybe they'll get better. Um, that could be quite possible. So just gonna run over with another spray pattern. So you can clearly see they've all made a huge difference. Some being a touch more hydrophobic than others at the start. But I mean, if you look down at this test section down here, the water is just sticking around, whereas in all these other sections, it's running straight off. So yeah, this was, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of work. Um, <laughs> Look around the garage floor, I've been chucking the plastic and the tape as I go. A um, lot of mess, a lot of work to do this, so hopefully this one works out. Like I said, I already actually filmed this entire video and had to scrap it, repolish and redo this entire thing. So uh, yeah, definitely give this video a like and show your support for the effort that's gone into filming this, as well as the cost. Um, yeah, do enjoy doing this, but this one, I'm not gonna lie, was a little bit hassle, a little bit stressful, especially once I started doing this and I saw the sheeting lifting up on some sections. Luckily, it seems like that uh, didn't cause any problems. And yeah, but um, so from here, this now I'm gonna dry this off. It's gonna sit inside for 24 hours in the garage or until I can get back to it, maybe 48 hours. Um, and then we will give it its first wash. Actually, no, we'll give it its, not a wash, sorry. We'll do a slickness test because the one thing I can say about all of these products that I've used, they make the paint far slicker than, oh, 
when I use them on top of my coating anyway, the coating isn't the slickest thing in the world, and these all make the paint super slick. So that's a benefit. So we're gonna see which one's the slickest. We're gonna do a first rinse after it's cured and see how they all look. And then from there on, we'll do weekly washes. Now I'm not expecting these to last months and months and months. They are spray on rinse off sealants. So we'll just keep this test going until um, we have a clear winner. But yeah, after the 24, 48 hours, whichever, I'll do the first slickness test and the rinse. We are going to sit this outside, up the side of my house, sits in the sun, sits in the rain, whatever type of weather condition we're getting. So it'll cop the full brunt and yeah, it'll get brought back into the garage each week for its weekly wash to see how the products are doing. So with all that said, that's gonna be it. I know this is gonna be a pretty long video, but a lot of products to apply, a lot of prep and all that stuff. I wanted to show you guys the full process. So yeah, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you wanna help the channel out and help me buy more products for my future tests, you can do so by um, shouting me a coffee or a beer is what I've put it as on buymeacoffee.com. I have the link in the description. Um, it's $5 for a beer. If you want to shout me, get me a beer, get me a six pack carton, whatever you want. Don't want to do it at all. That is completely fine. I don't mind buying these products. But yeah, if you guys want to help out and want to suggest products, that's a great way to do it. Do appreciate that. Um, and subscribe if you're not already to keep up to date with this test and any others that I do in the future. But with all that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.